Show reviews here and... Okay, look, I really have to come clean here. This episode, I'm not entirely proud of. You see, I just got bored and decided to do this for a laugh, but let's face it, this episode is going to be pretty gross. So, with that in mind, here is the top 10 list for gaming quotes and names that are euphemisms for shit or for taking shit. Ah, shit. So, in no particular order. Unrelenting Force. This has shit written all over it. So whether it be if you're partaking in your morning ritual, or if you've been holding in for a while, always feels good to... ...into the bowl. Even Fus Rodar literally means force, balance, push, so come on, you can't fault me for saying that this particular shout sounds strangely similar to the act of taking a powerful shit. In fact, usually whilst in the midst of this affirmation powerful shit, we're shouting too. So there you have it. Three euphemisms in one. The Great Mighty Pooh. Okay, just kidding. He's not really a euphemism for shit, seeing as he is actually a piece of shit. So let's try that again. Working nine to five. What a way to make a living. Solid Snake. Also a euphemism for a hard-on, Solid Snake can easily be used as a name for a dookie. The fact that... Oh, come on, do I really have to explain why this one sounds like a shit? You know, I was going to put Liquid Snake up on here, but that would have needed explaining and, well, let's face it, Liquid Snake sounds like diarrhea, so let's not do that one. And hold on tight, cause it's gonna be wilder than any B-17 Bomber. This can be used in substitution to the phrase depth charge, taking into account that we're focusing on video games here. Well, well, we're really focusing on shit, but hey-ho. The bomber from the Intellivision game B-17 Bomber seems ideal to be used as a way of describing a particularly heavy turd. Most real bombers tend to drop shit all over the place and shit all over enemy nations, so what better way of describing a natural shit than an analogy for a metaphor for shit? Shit, I think I've confused myself on that one. Lane Goodman. Seven. A bile demon. Oh, I really don't want to do this anymore. Oh shit, I just gotta try and get through this now. Wait, what, what number are we on? Seven! Oh god, still so much more to do! So, the Bile Demon from the Dungeon Keeper games. This is probably the best name to give to a shit, especially if it's an eye watering one. You know, one of those ones that can make onions cry? Bile Demons are large, ugly to look at, take up a lot of room leave mess wherever they go, and produce a large amount of toxic gas. If that's not a description for shit, then I don't know what is. Johnny Cage. He's a living piece of shit. That shit f And my wife is dead. Mm, I'm sorry to hear that. High five! Oh, oh. Bomberman. A way of describing someone who constantly takes a shit. Although this can be applied to a Bomberman in general, this is best used when looking at the Atomic Bomberman game separately. Not only does Bomberman go around dropping round bombs and S bombs like normal, but the announcer even suggests that he's dropping a load when he picks up a disease icon. Ooh, constipation! Here comes Poop Man. Yeah. It won't open. It won't budge. It won't budge. This phrase that appears in the horror game called Cthulhu is used when trying to enter a locked door, letting you know that this particular door cannot be used. But in actual fact, Jack Waters is trying to tell the player that he's trying to push one out, but hasn't got the minerals to do it. Just imagine him on the toilet. It won't budge. Shit, son. That's some tough shit right there. The Force Unleashed! Much in the same way as Unrelenting Force from Skyrim, The Force Unleashed from Star Wars can easily describe letting go of all of that shit you've been carrying around in your trunk. Now if you can just unleash the Force all over Darth Vader for putting up with all of that shit that he's been throwing your way throughout your whole life, then all will be well. The Deep Ones! Quickly going back to Call of Cthulhu, the Deep Ones are the water gods that the people of the village of Ensmith and the Order of Dagon worship. 
They are powerful and unknown forces to be reckoned with, and dwell deep within the waters of oblivion. So with that in mind, what better name than to give to a sinker? And in the same way with the actual deep ones in the game, looking at these deep ones for too long will eventually make you go insane, so pass that shit and send them to the deep. I uh, Dagon. I uh, butt nuggets. One more time. Barnacles! Oh god, what a graphic description. Remember the barnacles from the Half-Life games? Now let your perverted mind wander and... There you go. Barnacles in Half-Life are stuck to the ceiling, are grotesque in appearance, and consume all living matter that goes near them. And with enough force, you can get them to drop down and... Oh, God, I've really gone lost it now. Seriously, can we stop now? you still got the antidote. But look what I'm talking about. An enemy that resembles shit hanging out someone's ass. This episode is what it's about. Shit. And on that shitty ending, I'm going to end this shit and will never come back to this topic again, even if held at gunpoint. Yeah, check out True View's other videos and stuff. Done. I'm out of here. Stop looking at me like that. I think that if you in an accordo, I want peace. And let's go to all these cazzati. Ma voi gioca... Chi è? Come si dice? What I want. What's most important to me. Is that I have bacon and eggs.